ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Stand. Get your fresh clip shards here. Who will take care of my mama? Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house, by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. What's this? Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. Have a double cheeseburger while you're at it. Uh, anyone there? Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Call me V. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Dunno, man. The fuck Hanson got against a plane? Had a bad day and wham, shoot that shit down. I know who that was. Remember them badges he strung up the last time he was pissed? Oh, them best seats in the house. So, must have had a reason to Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand, basketball fan. That's new. Into our you kitchen. know what I You believe that? What? Another game starting. One where your head's okay? a fucking ball. Better. My input loves it. He always said we could use it. the same window. thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storms, what's brewing? Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians. Worse. Armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Trust in a deserter? Kinda contradictory, don't you think? If you're gonna book out of the army, you gotta be honest. Admit you made a mistake. And that, dare I say it, takes fucking guts. Desertion is bravery. 
Now that's Johnny speak if I ever heard it. Maybe a little. Sue me. One thing I did learn, caked in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers <laughs> ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. <laughs> Sounds like you got some shit to work through. Gotta face your demons sometime, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel, this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. <laughs> Hands, what you holding? Johnny, who the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? Only see what you see. I see you holding something. Show me. Got this token? Mean anything to you? I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. <sighs> Who sent you? A mutual friend. We don't have mutual friends. Friend survived an accident. You might have heard. I might have. Zone defense, that. Keep pushing. Is she safe? Hard to say. No longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around it. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? Doubt I was tailed. So you didn't check? I see you still got a ways to go. We'll work with what we got. Black Thornton Merrimack, in the street. Three minutes, front seat. That it? Interrogation over? Already? We're starting to have fun. Breathe. Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Bet he's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Hey, you see that guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coat looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey, shut it or get lost. With the right guns installed, man, I think the duct tape even hot. Jim needs some damn rule changes. Black Thornton. Used to do real things at Fort Plaza. And now? No! No, 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 no.
Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chun's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. No. No hard feelings. It's all good. Had to make sure. I'd have done the same. Is that so? You're not in the biz, V. Al biz. Actually, I am, though. Just since yesterday. I was about to say your first time's out are the hardest, but I'm not gonna lie. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Freelance Merc. You were born in NC. Haywood. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received your commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Know her? Saw me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Just... FYI... Not so sure you're gonna like it. Try me. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. Damn straight, I don't like it. You left her alone in Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Actually... Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. That's your Lilo gig? A bouncer? It pays the bills and nets me a little disposable. Sleeper agents aren't entitled to government pay. Not even under the table. Huh? This is no tale. So that was a fucking lie. Damn it, Hatches goons! Here we go!
astrology. Which means they may have already found Mayas. No idea how they tracked me. Hardly matters now. It's hoping we're not too late. Fucking pretty. Follow close behind. Hats and kangaroos. Must have spotted you. Tracks you left. We need to take those fools down and hope we're not too late. Some things never change. What? Wherever she goes, people get hurt. Bodies drop. I must have tagged us off Metro Cam feeds. A mistake. Happens to everyone. Let's hope we can correct it. If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take point. Open up. It's me. Is this how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Roslyn, are you all right? I'm fine. But I heard shots. Jacob and Taylor. They tried to defend. We arrived too late. Shit. I... <sighs> hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete a tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Here. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hansen, any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. 
I heard So Me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario? Got caught in some ice on the combat bot when she hacked it. One little mishack. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean you died already? What has my eyes told you about me? Said you'd let an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arasaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Every moment we spend pouting here, our chances of finding Somi alive drop. Hard. Barely know you, but you don't seem like a Chum who would leave their agent out to dry. She won't survive without backup. Don't know me well, but well enough, I guess. I wouldn't. I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V, you said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much she's paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Songbird's my only shot at surviving. Got Arasaka's relic in my head. Slowly, surely poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too, Reed. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Yeah, big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Stay safe. And don't let the bastards get you. Same to you, V. May we meet again in more favorable circumstances. Alright, I need to make some calls.
ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day in Dogtown, until I received word from Zeta Tech's CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scavs seem unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their sick. Go to the scav's nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing. Detail didn't lie. This gear, what do you think it'll pull back at the state? I just hope we catch Eddie's not a bullet. If Z Tech finds out we got drop on their transport. <laughs> Let's go! 
This carol before shit. that you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Let me guess right back. Want me to rescue you? No, no. The prototype. And its schematics. Correct? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the Corp would send someone eventually. Mm-hmm. Cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir, Zeta Tech Engineer. Only survivor of the SCAV ambush. Even for SCAVs, jumping in Corpo Convoy's next-level gonkery. Something's off here. It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. So the SCAVs randomly ambushed you? No. No way. Someone rat you out, sell the product, sell out the client. Look, I don't fucking know. We'll cross that bridge later. Can you just get me out of here? Sole survivor, huh? Mercy's not in the scav's M.O. Gotta have something they want. Hmm, you could say that. What they need is my implant. And that, my friend, is priceless. Wait, wait, wait. Telling me you planted that tech in your own damn skull? Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gonky gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech. No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of it. Prototech's capricious, erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. 
And Big Daddy Zeta Tech. All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototech. Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? Not here to rescue hostages. Look, if you want the implant, you need to take me to a Ripper. Extracting it is a delicate process. Prototype's all I need. It's condition? Whole another gig. That still leaves the schematics. Listen, I can show you where they're holding them. So that's your scheme, huh? Fine. Try anything funny, though. There is a time and a place to be funny. This isn't it. Yeah. Now to crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Right. Back in a nanosec. Well, I see ZetaTech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh-huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Jesus, is that... Harry? The man was a real prick, but this... It's barbaric. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Nearly burned here. Ah. <sighs> Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Prem, got it. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. ...will vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. It's time we were on our way. <coughs> Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Huh. Wow. Weren't lying about being an engineer, huh? Hey, as long as it stops working. Should be safe here. Ah, I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure he'll want to handle the prototype... personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. No, what? Getting on my nerves, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? My deal, uh... 
Uh, I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... it would be a death sentence. Why are you so hell-bent on clapping this tech? Do you even have the faintest idea how much it's worth? Uh, more than your life, right? Ah, I have no family, no friends. I gave my life to the corporation. The sacrifices I made. And for what? What life? The bastards stole it. The money from the prototype would have afforded me a fresh start. How'd you imagine playing a Megacorp? Must have had some kind of plan? I did, though I couldn't do it all on my own. I arranged a buyer at Dogtown Stadium. We would have met, were it not for these savages. Buyer could have hazed you, though. True. So I had the prototype implanted. It became my bargaining chip. He knew he couldn't harm me without jeopardizing the tech. I was to vanish during the convoy's inspection at the border. I arranged an unmarked car, bribed the guards, but then the ambush, well... Fucking hazed me, Hassan. Put my shit on the line for you and you wanna leave me out to dry? I was in a goddamn scav cage. You would have left if I told you the truth. Maybe, maybe not. But you definitely made a big mistake trying to con me. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Enemy collaborators have infiltrated downtown. That means NUSA spies and agitators are in your midst. Keep your eyes peeled. You see anything suspicious, report it. Okay. You and me never met. Our story? Scav's got the schematics, prototype win a wall. We clear. You... really? Yes. Understood. I... thank you. Now I, Delta. You? Find a big-ass rock, crawl under it. I mean it, Hassan. Zeta Tech gets a half a whiff. You dead. Right. Okay. Sly bastard bamboozled the corp and you in the process. Do nothing for Hassan. But I got a feeling his luck ain't gonna last. A little birdie chirp that you retrieved Zeta Tech's paraphernalia. Any issues? Birdie didn't say. Prototype wasn't around. Got the schematics, though. That an issue? It's certainly... a snag. Zeta Tech will not be thrilled, but I suppose that's my cross to bear. Transferring your compensation now. 